Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can organize, declutter and refresh your MacBook. This includes getting rid of that other storage that seems to take up a lot of space on most MacBooks. So without further ado, let's just get right into this video. The first thing that I want to talk about is having a clean desktop. Having a clean desktop will just make your life so much nicer. So I used to keep folders on my desktop. I've now moved those folders into my documents tab in Finder. I can also easily sort through anything I save to my desktop quite nicely, move the things that are important into their designated folders and delete the things that I don't really need anymore. That brings me to the next thing is to organize your documents into folders. So I have organized mine into a personal folder, a YouTube folder, a commissions folder and I used to have a uni folder on my laptop but I don't right now because I'm on holiday but usually there's that folder as well. In those folders I like to organize my different documents into subcategories. So I like to subcategorize as far as possible. So for example, having the university folder, you'll go into your different subjects. Then in your different subjects, you'll have the different subcategories, presentations, your um, tutorials, your essay. Having a very organized folder structure is key. You know, it just helps you sort through what you need and what you don't need. And then that way you can keep the important files and trash the non-important files. The next thing I want to mention is having an external hard drive. I highly recommend getting an external hard drive, especially if your line of work is very digital. Having an external hard drive firstly frees up space on your laptop because you can migrate the stuff from your laptop into this external hard drive. So in case something were to happen to your laptop, at least you have those documents and those files on its separate hard drive. After every project that I have, I migrate that project from my laptop into the hard drive. The next thing is to organize your application. Organizing your dock, I like to have just main apps on my dock and then in the launch pad I have them all organized into folders. So for me I have an Adobe folder where I have all the Adobe apps that I need. I then have like a note taking folder and then the list goes on. I also have a miscellaneous folder which is where I put all the applications that Apple has like you get when you buy your laptop that you can't actually delete and I don't use that stuff. So I've just put it all in a miscellaneous folder. I never look at it. I never open it. I can now just open up my launch pad, look, okay, this is the folder I need to go to, go into the folder, get the application, open the application. Instead of trying to like now search for it in the search bar, rolling through pages of stuff, it just honestly helps you seem more organized, less decluttered, and it'll just make your whole work process faster. The next thing is to minimize your window into your application icon. So whenever you have an open window and you minimize it, instead of it moving to the side like right there by the bin and now you just have all these open windows, rather you minimize it into the application icon. So to do this you'll go into your system preferences, you'll then go to dock and then you'll go and click minimize windows into application icon. The next thing is to clear your trash once a week. Now I say once a week because just in case you have a lot of work going on, you might move a file that's really important into your trash and then if you clear your trash then that file is gone forever. Dedicate a day where you just spend like maybe 15 minutes and you just go through everything in your trash, make sure that there's no important files. If there is, at least you've saved it and now you can move it out of your trash and if there isn't then you can just clear it. Now I want to talk about how you can get rid of the other. Mine took up like about 82 gigabytes. So what you would do to clear that is you'd go command G on your keyboard. This will bring up your go window and in that window you'll type in like this curly bracket thing and then you'll put forward slash library and this will take you to your library on your MacBook. There's going to be a lot of folders and don't get like confused. Just go and search for your cache and in your cache folder, I'm not sure if you can just completely clear the cache folder. What I know is that I've gone into the applications that I've downloaded, Adobe programs that take up a lot of space. Take that Adobe folder and just put it in the bin, clear the bin and that was 82 gigabytes gone. So just research what kind of cache you can clear. I know if you have Adobe, you can clear that cache. The next thing is that if you have a lot of photos on your laptop, I would highly recommend Google Photos. It is 15 gigabytes of free storage on Google Photos. So you can literally just back up all your photos into Google Photos. You'll have all your photos there on all your devices. I literally reached the 15 gigabyte about two months ago and I have photos 
going all the way back from 2013. Now, what I've done is I've just taken my second email address. I've started backing up to the second email address. The next thing that I want to talk about is to clear the notifications and widgets in that little notification tab that we actually never see and never actually use. I want to try and start getting like into it and using it a little bit more. The next thing is to clear your browser history. So go into your browser, go into your history, go find your history, go clear your history, go clear your cookies. You don't need any of that. Just completely clear it all out. Like there is no need to keep it there. It just also helps everything just work a lot faster, cleaner and less decluttered and it just makes everything feel new and fresh again. That's exactly what we want to do. This is the whole point of this video. And now is my like last final tip. So I would suggest back up all my documents and everything. Everything's backed up, everything important is backed up. Put on a hard drive, separate hard drive, etc. And I will go and factory reset my laptop once a year. And now my laptop is completely new, it's completely wiped out. It'll just help you like keep your Mac running nicely and smoothly as if it were new again. Instead of keeping your laptop throughout and then it just keeps getting slower, I feel like when you clear it, it helps it. It just seems to work a little bit better when you do it. You don't even need to do it uh, once a year. You can literally do it every two years, every three years. But I do think that it is just a good way to keep your laptop running nicely and to its full potential so the last thing is to clean your laptop so get a soft cloth get a baby wipe get some screen cleaning solution and a nice microfiber cloth and wipe your laptop down take off your case wipe it down clean the case clean your laptop get in between the keys clean your screen i don't know how i will clean my laptop maybe every two weeks because it just gets so dirty and i just don't know why but it does so so that brings me to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope that this helped you if it did please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if this did help you please let me know it also helps me also boost the engagement of this video and yeah i love you all so so much and i'll see you next week bye guys <laughs>